Nobody's here right now, but uh, like I said, every Wednesday, it's 11 p.m. I'm going to do this late tonight. This is the new tune. Check it out. Just some music. in the subject right now there's uh, a lot of crap going on in the world and uh, we want to discuss Donald Marshall information hey, I see people coming in uh, we're going to discuss the Donald Marshall information the cloning uh, chip heads and um, Vril oh, okay hey hey Heather what's up hey hey y'all guys all right I'm good, glad you caught me this week Okay, guys. Working on. Uh, all right, guys. I want to discuss a couple of little topics, you know, and just shoot out the questions. If you have any questions, shoot them out there. You know, hopefully some... Uh, what's good? Yo, what's up? Fargo, what's up, man? Um, just shoot out any questions you feel like at any time. All right. And I'm going to get my shit ready over here. All right, here. Hold on a second. I wait. Coffee. Got to have coffee. You know what I mean? Bing! <laughs> Got to have coffee. Coffee gives, puts that zing in your thing. Right? Got to be zinging. Got to be zinging. Okay. Now, uh, how long does it take for something to become an established fact? Okay? Because you have something that's like, for example... Just take the JFK assassination, right? Now, we know not killed by Lee Harvey Oswald. Anybody who's got a brain knows the established fact. The same thing only coming out, it's trickling out, and it's coming out, and it's going to be at... You know, it wasn't a terrible tragedy. It was done on purpose to kill off Guggenheim, Astor, and Strauss so they could open up the Federal Reserve Bank. Now it's an established fact. You understand? So the more information that comes out about this stuff the more it will be established as a fact in the collective mind of the people. That's what we're looking to do here, okay? With the cloning, the vril, and the chip heads. Now, nobody else is talking about this, thing, Corina. Nobody's talking about the uh, the horrors that go down in the cloning centers to all the people down there. And uh, what I want to kind of do is make this sort of like a therapy for myself and for all you guys who are out there going through it. You know what I mean? Um, so we can talk about our stuff. Um... If you want to send me an email to that voice, uh, what do you call it? The Voice Grinding in the Wilderness at yahoo.com. Just put in real big letters, cloning info in capital or something so I can find it because I, I have to readjust the settings on that thing because I got like a million, what do you call it? It's, I got like a million letters from the, uh, all these notifications and shit. But anyway, just shoot out the questions. Anybody's, what do we got here? Let's see. If there's any questions, please ask. Oh, here we go. Oh, it keeps lagging. Bad connection. Oh, yeah, I see. Buffing like a buffer. Yeah, I'm in a different location now. That's why. I might be too far from the antenna. You can clear sentences or is it like getting chopped up? You can barely hear me? How about now? Can you hear me now? Okay. The things I go through. <laughs> Right, are we connected back yet? Is this thing on? Is it reconnected yet? That's right, I got the car for better reception. Alright, hold on. Scooby dooby doo. Oh, okay, so we're back on. Good. Alright, well, I guess this is going to be a See how we're doing now. Okay. I think it looks like it's working now. Okay. Anyhow. Here's some music for now. Just throw out some questions. You know, I'm just kind of boot. I'm just kind of shooting from the hip, you guys. I guess my new location doesn't have a good, uh, what do you call that, Wi-Fi uh, antenna connection. So 
Here I is in the parking lot. <laughs> Some store over here. Hey, get eat the bonita. How you doing? Wait. Something strange happened today. Wait a minute, hold on. Uh, had commercials removed and the video went black and I mentioned the military vessel that has all the crew with measles. Oh yeah. Yeah, they don't want people to know shit. They'll fuck with you. They'll totally up. In my car, yes, I got no reception over the per week. You guys might have, hopefully, uh, maybe I'll get some help coming in at some point. Okay, live streaming from the car. Just shoot out the questions. I'm going to try to keep an eye on this live chat. It keeps disappearing on me. I got to keep pressing the freaking button. I don't know why that is. Yeah. When did I start my awakening? Oh, okay. 9-11 um, was when I started. You know, when I uh, when I first woke up about... Hello there, uh, Sarah Smith. How you doing? When I first woke up about shit, it was really the 9-11. The because there was no way that those buildings fell down without something else pushing them. Like, you know... What about some kind of explosives? You know what I mean? That was too obvious. Hey, Australia, there. No, 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 no. Wait, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to read this thing. Uh, nice to meet you. Watch from Australia. Okay, Uber No, I'm not overdriving. No, this is. I'm just in the car. This is my car. It has nothing to do with Uber. Nothing at all. Okay. Hey, what's up, TGTG4088? What's going on? Andy Sock was my awakening. Oh, Sandy Hook. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's not easy these days. There's a lot of crazy shit going down. Uh, okay. I'm not going to be able to use the sock puppet today. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so just whatever questions you guys might have, I really, I'm not, I haven't planned this, I had a, you know, I planned on sitting at my desk where I was, but I had to jump up and do this now, so I don't have any of my papers with me, so I don't know, just shoot out any questions or whatever, somebody wanted, somebody asked me, how did I start becoming awake about, well, awake spiritually was before, but 9-11 was my awakening with, uh, you know, realizing that there was something behind the scenes that was fucking with us, you know what I mean, like, I mean, I mean, a building fell down. It wasn't even hit by a plane, for Christ's sake. Sorry, don't even want to spell the secret. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know what you're saying. Yeah, because as soon as you say those words, they pin on you and they fucking, they screw with you, you know? Yeah, you got to watch what you say today. Isn't that going to land? Is you're allowed to say what you believe, believe in what God you want to believe in, freedom of speech, press, and religion, and you got to watch what you say now. What the hell's going on? What, what the hell is this world coming to? Right? Uh, do you know what I'm thinking about a company, Metatronics, is illegally chipped my daughter during a spinal surgery? Uh, they illegally chipped your daughter? Holy shit, man. Yeah, they're chipping everything. They got those little chips. I don't know anything about a company called Metatronics, but if they're putting chips in people without your consent, <coughs> that's kind of illegal, I would say. But, uh, they're going to be putting chips and everything, you know, and that's not good. We got to stop that shit somehow. Roberto was a crook, but God is using him after coming, after him comes the Antichrist. Oh, I don't know. Were you a middle child? Is that obvious? Yeah, it was a middle child. <laughs> totally. With climbing ladders. Yeah, the childhood ladders. The childhood nightmares with climbing the ladder is not only you, says Mo Smith. Yeah, I believe it, man. They're probably testing a lot of kids. They're probably testing a lot of kids. You know what I mean? Definitely not the only one. Thousands of people are involved. They they look through the the um, they look through the uh, the school yearbooks, and then they uh, basically choose you out of your school yearbook. Chips won't be necessary once they have a resonance. Yeah, that's possible, yeah, because they can resonate your, what do you call it, your frequencies through computers. Project Rainbow. She'd read up on Project Rainbow and all the stuff they did over there at Montauk. With the Montauk chair and all that. Do I think Trump is a good guy? I, I don't know. You know what, honestly, I don't know. He's playing the good guy right now. Like, you know what I'm looking at? I'm looking at, like, the, it's like the red team or the blue team. You know, and both teams are just all... You know, I don't know. 
You know what I mean? Like I'd like to I'd like to believe that yeah, he's a good guy and he's doing the right thing, but I don't know for a fact. It might be all just a show. It's all fucking smoke and mirrors, you know what I mean? The whole thing is smoke and mirrors. Selected like every other proper president. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he's better than Hillary. Yeah, probably. But you know what? You know, I don't know what's going to come of it. You know, I'd like to believe that there's good people, the white hats in there doing the right thing. But I don't know. It might be just another thing for us to believe in so that it appeases us. It might be another appeasement. Just like Obama was an appeasement. An appeasement, you know, because... Back then, I remember the black people were freaking out, and they said, oh, let's put a black president. And then it was an appeasement. Everybody calmed down. You know what I mean? <coughs> it was fucked up. Um, yeah, I'm not smoking right now. I'm going to smoke later. Yeah, Obama's purely, uh, yeah, I, I believe Obama's a clone of uh, Akinatun. Yeah, clone, what do you call, if you look at a picture of Akinatun, which is a, 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 what do you call, an Egyptian, an Egyptian pharaoh, it said, I think Don said in the, in the pro boards, he said that they chose his face because his face was, it inspired people to, to follow him, you know? Yeah, yeah, Obama was a hypnotized puppet, yeah. Mary Beck, how you doing? Yeah, it seems like it's, I mean, it's really, I think all of that politics stuff and all that, it's possibly that it's all just a puppet show. It's all a big puppet show. Just They're just trying to, like, you know, make a narrative for people to follow, to be, you know, it's the same thing with bread and circuses. You're going to follow the blue team or the red team. Who are you rooting for? And then you, all you got to do is fight against the other team and insult the other people of the other team. This way, <coughs> they're up instead of them doing it to us. Okay. Okay, Dawn, yeah. <clears throat> yes, I've seen those pictures of Akhenaten. Looks exactly, and the, what's her name? Uh, Nefertiti or whatever, the, the, the queen. Or is it the other queen? Is it Obama, uh, Michelle? You know, they look exactly alike, those clones. Yes, and the real the thing is the bottom of the rabbit hole here, what I'm talking about is what I want to get to is the real bottom of the rabbit hole is the vril, the reptiles, these giant winged reptiles that have been living for a long time. They live out of, what is it, 10,000 years, 20,000 years? How long is their lifespan? It's super long lifespan. And there's like, a, what, 100 of them maybe? That's what's running the shit. You know, people don't realize that they're running everything. <clears throat> yeah, I don't have anything with me now. Oh, wait, what do I got here? Aha, Poland Spring. Like to stop for a moment and advertise. Poland Spring comes to you straight from Maine and it's wet. And it also makes a fart sound when you open it. <laughs> okay. Make uh, yeah. But look, if you guys out there, I kind of wanted to do this for you guys out there who like, uh, you feel like you might be going through some cloning stuff and you want to talk about it and, uh, you know, just uh, get it off your chest. Okay. I'll try that. Thank you. Fresh lemon juice and Manuka honey. Yes. Um... So let's see, when I first woke up, it was 9-11, you know, the building fell down without getting hit by a plane, uh, hmm, and every time they talk about 9-11, you never hear about building number seven, that was the first time that their slip was shown, so to speak, like, aha, oh, this is bullshit, you know, there's something bullshit going on, like, there's a bunch of crooks, basically, a few crooks, a few crooks running the whole damn world, and it's all done by banking and money, all done by banking and money. I wish we had some footage of the Vril. There's pictures of dead Vril, I believe. But if you want to get the information, go to the Pro Boards. Donald Marshall, what is it? Uh, Proboards.donaldmarshall.com or is it donaldmarshall.proboards.com? It's one of those two. But if you go on the search engine, Google or DuckDuckGo, excuse me, and just put in Donald Marshall Pro Boards, search for that, and then you find 
the Pro Boards, which has all the information that Donald has posted over the last, since 2012, I'm down. Read that. That's where all the information is about cloning, vril, chip heads. Sleepless nights and burning skin. Yes, that's an... Yes, Heather, that's a, and, and Gary. That's an indication of being a targeted individual. Yes. Uh, yes. Why would they target you? Maybe uh, you're part of a program. Maybe... <clears throat> Could be a lot of things. Lots of hybrids walking around. Like uh, mixed Nephilim and... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Don's a good guy. I'm, I'm glad he came out and said everything, you know? If it wasn't for Don, I'd be like, what happened to me? I have no idea. <coughs> um, okay, wait, I'm trying to read this stuff here. My friend Matt, who I never suspected was a truther, was about the first person... I knew to talk about Building 7. Yeah, he passed away at 42, and it was because of him I started waking up. Says uh, T. Condo. Yeah, it's true. Because of fucking, you know, I mean, because think about it. The weirdest thing about 9-11 is that in through all of history, there never was a collapse of a steel building by fire. And that was the, that was the official reason. Fire caused the building to collapse. Never before... Never after. Only on that one day did a steel building ever come. You don't just think that's a little unusual? Like this steel building, I mean, there's, and there has been steel buildings that have burned too for, for days and that didn't collapse. Why is this thing burning and collapsing in one minute? You know, a half an hour, whatever it is, it's basically no time at all. There's too many holes in the story. They did a sloppy job. They did a sloppy freaking job on 9 11. They were fucking too egotistical thinking that they could get away with it. There's no way that you could look at 9-11 and say that it was a real thing. The plane went into the building like a freaking ghost, like it didn't even exist. Let me ask you something. Have you ever seen a steel I-beam? Have you ever seen a steel I-beam? You know how strong a steel I-beam is, okay? Like a piece of sticking freaking steel? Try to take a soda can, and I don't care how fast that soda can is going, but without no soda in it now, this is an airplane. Fill it with air with no soda and try to shoot a aluminum can through a steel I-beam. No way. No freaking way. The plane, when it crashed into the building, it would have just went crumple, crumple, and then fell right straight down, right, and maybe some shit would have went through the windows, but the whole plane's, maybe the titanium engines would have went through, but the whole plane was not going to just disappear into the building. That's what happens in a cartoon. Like, what's his name? What, what's his, ooh. Wiley Coyote, super genius in the road runner. He goes and he hits on the wall and you see the frame of his body going through the wall. This is cartoon shit. You know, I, I don't understand how people looking at 9-11, looking at those planes can think that that's real. Yes, don't give in to fear. Listen to this. Remember this one. Fear, and write this down if you like. Fear is a ghost at its most. Nothing. Without the host, don't be a host to your fears. If you don't host your fears, they can't do anything to you. You know, fear is a ghost at its most. Nothing without a host. Okay. The emotional person. Not all humans are evil. In your opinion, do you think they're, they're a good vrills? I don't think so. Because they look at us as food. They're not good for... They might be good for each other, but they ain't good for us. Because we're like food. You know, it's like, it's like you'd ask a chicken, like, Hey, do you, hey chicken, do you think there's any good humans? Oh, well, chicken would be like, They fucking eat us, man! They all suck! <laughs> you know, they eat us! You feel what I'm saying? <coughs> yeah, they don't think like us. This is true. The Vril... Um, the Vril have a, a mentality of kill and eat or kill or be killed and be eaten because they're underground. There's no place to escape. Had a dream I was handcuffed to the table and told to sign papers. Quite funny. Yeah. 
Yeah, they'll do stuff to you that is designed to scare you. You know, like stuff that'll... Uh, what they'll do is they'll they'll do stuff that... They'll play upon your fears, actually. What what they'll do is, like, if you have something that's, like... Say it's your worst fear ever, they'll ask you while you're on, in Colony. They'll say, what's the thing that you fear the most? And then you'll tell them, and then they'll do it to you. Whatever it is, you know, whether it's, you know... Being like, you know, signing papers and signing your life away, whatever the fuck it is. Uh, well, I had a terrible fear once. You listen to this. I was afraid. <clears throat> I was afraid to be death. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was afraid to be sliced to death. <laughs> as stupid as that sounds. You know, like you ever see in the deli when a guy's got a big bologna in the, in the slicer? And he's slicing the bologna. And then, like, you know, it's a little at a time. Like, you know, they slice off the bottom of your feet. Next thing you know, it's up to your ankles. And then they slice the next thing you know, it's up to your knees. Ah! You know, that's my worst fear. Being sliced to death in a giant bologna slicer. Like a deli slicer. But, you know, they'll, they'll do that. They'll, they'll find your worst fears and then use them against you. You know, all crazy kinds of shit like that. You like it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just tired. I'm beat up. You'll notice a real because one eye will be like way bigger. Like, huh? Like, like you'll see it bulging out. And it'll be dripping sometimes. It'll drip. And then the other eye will be like sort of half closed, like almost dead looking. Like, and then this one big bug down. Like, hi, how you doing? Hi, hi. You know, that's, that's what you'll want to look for. Like, you know, normally people's eyes are rather not symmetrical. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Somebody died in a meat grinder at work. That sucks. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he got the wonky eye. Oh, Pack lives. <laughs> Alex. He's a mess. What is the... Now, what is that kind of... Anyway, anyway, any questions out there? There's a few people in here now. Not a whole lot, but, you know, I do these things kind of off the cuff. Every Wednesday. Wednesday. Just keep your ears open on Wednesdays. And you guys want to, uh, I'm going to do an hour a week. Wednesdays, live stream. Just a question and answer. Any questions? Just whatever, you know. What do you think happens during sleep paralysis? Um... Uh, Sleep paralysis. I had that once happen to me. And it was a time when I was like really sort of, I was, well, I'd say I was, ha I was having way too much sex at the time. And for whatever reason, when you have a lot of sex, it opens up more perception in your aura or whatever it is. You could feel more things when you have less. And then I was laying in my bed and I remember seeing these two tall looking bird headed alien things standing in my room. And there's kind of a, there's an other dimension which they exist in and we can't see them and they're like watching us, you know what I mean? Sort of like where they're farm animals and they're kind of monitoring us is the impression that I got. So sleep paralysis is like you're kind of sort of halfway in consciousness and halfway out of consciousness and you are getting to see that hidden realm. That's what it is. Sleep paralysis is you're getting a view into that hidden realm where those creatures are basically running the earth and monitoring us. And uh, you normally, when you're in your waking state, you don't see them. They're on a different plane of perception. You know how, like, uh, I don't like to quote David Icke, but I'll quote him anyway. Because he talks about the, uh, the, the light spectrum. You know, we can only see, like, dogs can hear on different frequencies that we cannot hear on. There's light frequencies that we can't see in, you know, that these creatures can exist in. Yeah, that's that's what I think sleep paralysis is. When you're between uh, the waking and the the, the semi-conscious, you're in a semi-conscious state where your brain is actually perceiving that realm, which is hidden from you when you're in fully conscious state. Do I believe in reincarnation? Um, I suppose it's possible, but I don't know. I I remember when I was a kid, I I thought I had a previous life. You know, right now I don't know. I I, I could go either way on that. You know.
Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, while well, you're in sleep paralysis, you know, these things can come and, and mess with you. Yep. Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry I had to come out here so early. I didn't bring my partner with me. Well, I'd be using him right now. <laughs> uh, partial sleep browser. I'm trying to get out of that thing. Uh, yeah, that could just be a circulation problem. Partial sleep paralysis. The real Pac lives, died after he got cloned? What are you talking about? Pac lies. What do you mean? He, he died after he got cloned? Because that guy was a real, I mean, I, I was friends with him for a little while, and then he just totally backstabbed me, and I was just like, all right, bye. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nothing to do with him. Uh, what do I think of real home planet? Is there native to Earth? They're native to Earth. Um, think about this, right? You have leftover bones of the dinosaurs and everything. If there was a cataclysm that destroyed the surface of the Earth, then anything that was underground would have survived, right? Now, what's underground normally? You got lizards, you got insects, you got those roly polies, you got uh, uh, what do you call them? Um, rodents and all that stuff underground, right? So that's the stuff that would have survived. Crabs, you know. And uh, basically, that's that is what survived down on the ground. And that's and that's why you know they're native to this planet. The Vril developed down under there for for eons. I don't know how many eons, whatever, a couple thousand years to twenty thousand years. Who knows? Before man repopulated the surface of the Earth. So you have species that are underground, whether they're primitive or not, whether they invented the wheel or not. They're still underground developing. A societal culture and all that space on the ground while we are just you know not even not even developing yet you know on the surface we're like cave people and they're way ahead of us down on the ground you know as far as society goes and stuff yes tunnels are uncovered everywhere tunnels are being uncovered everywhere <coughs> i'm hearing crazy shit too about mar marines are being trained to do like underground combat with these weird, like, walking machine things. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they're doing some battle on the ground. I don't know. I don't know. Yes, yes. You got to have love in your heart. Don't waste time hating. Hating will drain your soul and kill you. You know, sometimes it ain't easy because people really can fucking shit on your life, you know, and you just want to, it's like, why the fuck, you know, and you just want to kill them. But uh, that'll just kill you, too. You know, uh, let's see. How how were the real made? Did God make them? I don't know. You know, this certain you know the creator, God the creator. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Does he create everything, or is it just stuff sort of accidentally happens sometimes? I really don't know. You have to ask God for that. I'm not that knowledgeable. <laughs> you know. Fallen angels made it with women. Yes, it was. Yeah, that's kind of sort of the the story of um, that I heard from Mark Passio, the Ning Hazita. What is his name? He was the guy that the, he was a genetic engineer of the Anunnaki's that created the human race, and the human race was created in order to mine gold off of this planet, right? And that's kind of a thing, you know. Like uh, now, a lot of people say that it ain't true and all that stuff. But I sort of think it sort of fits. Because look, gold has been valuable on this planet since how long? Forever, right? And we only realize now how, how valuable gold is, right? And not as valuable as far as like for jewelry and, and, and for fillings and stuff. But gold is a, a superconductor. For computers, it's the best thing in the world. Pack lives, says he likes meth, FYI. Yeah. Yeah, no, nah, he's in a bad state. I haven't even watched this channel or anything. I feel bad for the guy. What do you want to do? 
I thought last time I looked, I just said, let me take a look and see what he's doing. He's there like this, and he's going, <laughs> he's like snorting a big chunk of coke up his nose. I was just like, all right, off. Bye. <laughs> don't need that. Uh, you know, I might be mistaken. I don't know, maybe just had a cold, but I don't know. I really don't want to bother with that shit. I don't want to get into all this fucking... I just want to help you guys whatever I can, because I'm already kind of... How many years into it? It's 12, 34, 50, 60, 70, yeah. This is already seven, six, seven years I know about this stuff already, and I'm into it, you know, so... And uh, as comfortable as I could be with being uh, cloned and tortured in a deep on the ground military base, I guess I'm okay with it now. <laughs> I'm okay with it, yeah, sure. <laughs> no. But I can, I can deal with it, you know? Yeah, the pyramids, yeah, conductors and everything, yeah. Gold is a superconductor. That's why the Ark of the Covenant was made of gold, too. It was, it was a communicating device that these uh, Anunnaki were using to talk to the Egyptians. You know? Uh, yeah, so let's not even talk about the guy that's the messed up guy. You know what I mean? Let's not even, yeah, he stole whatever. Let's just, I want to try to hit it every Wednesday. If you guys want to show up every Wednesday, every Wednesday like clockwork. One hour a week, that's all I'm going to do. Because I got a life, you know what I mean? Uh, okay, I got a troll in here. All right, it's okay. I'm not even gonna. You know what? Don't feed the trolls, people. When you get a troll, you gotta do three things. And well, they're gonna try to do three. Let's have a little troll lesson. Trolls do three things. They distract. Um, let's see. Distract, discredit, and redirect. That's what they do. They distract, discredit, and redirect. Okay, what the subject we're talking about, they take you off the subject. They discredit the person that's talking and say, oh, well, you don't know what you're talking about. And they redirect the conversation to something else entirely. But we want to keep it focused on cloning, brills, and chip heads. Okay? Uh, yes. According to Donald, there's not many drones. Well, I, what, I, what I understand, it's 5% of the population that there's drones. Or five or ten percent? It's not well. That's that's a lot if you consider the whole population. If there's a million people, then what is that? Ten thousand people with drones, right? <clears throat> is that ten? Is that ten percent? I don't know. Do the math. I'm not math. Yeah, yeah. Gold, oil, and drugs. Yes, the United States works for God. If you ask the guys in the military, they say the U.S. works for God. Gold, oil, and drugs. You got the poppy fields in Afghanistan. And the, uh, and the, what do you call it, the, the oil, now they're going in for the oil in Venezuela, and, it, you know, gold, oil, and drugs, that's what it's all about. Okay, right now. Right bones. Yes, you can kill the vril. They're sort of similar to, like, crabs. Like a big chunky crab with hollow bones. You know, so if you're a hefty person, you can crunch them. All right. Anyhow, what do we got? 37 minutes. All right, going up to 60 minutes tonight, guys. We're on 37 minutes. I don't know. You know what? Let me send a, let me send a message to you. Maybe I can get somebody to come in here if they're not too busy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this one here. Another sock puppet account. See this here? Yeah, I don't have my sock puppet with me, so I'm just going to have to take it this time. <laughs> I have some questions. Right. Same question as... Can you repeat the question? Because I'm kind of going back and forth in the chat here, and it's like... I'm, uh, Yeah, GTG488W says, I have the same question as Quiet Bunny. Can you retype the question, please? And then I'll do my best to answer it. 
because I'm just like right now I'm just like you know what am I doing <laughs> yeah Okay, cool. Yeah, I will. I'll hit you up so you can do my you can be my troll annihilator. All right. We'll hook that, hook that up for next time. So this way somebody can just like bounce the trolls out. But I really, I would normally use my uh, my sock puppet, you know, to deal with the sock puppets. But I had to leave the house real quick just to get online. So I don't have my sock puppet with me. And I'm not wearing socks. So, oh well. I think we're good. Yes, and uh, what's your name? Carly made another video, somebody said, and that's that's cool and everything. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm, I was just disappointed that, you know, Donald said she was lying and stuff. I thought, you know, that that would be great if somebody was actually talking about this also. But it um, turns out that uh, Donald said she's uh, bullshitting, so... Just shoot out the questions, guys, if you feel like it. Causing attention. Yeah, I don't want to cause any tension. That's why I'd rather not even talk about all that. I'm just going to do my own thing, and everybody can do whatever they want. Hey, baby blue, how you doing? What's up? Burnout, 48, don't put up with nonsense. Yeah, I, I hear you, man. I hear you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I got to trust Donald on that whole situation because, you know, I don't know who else to trust. You know what I mean? Who, who, how do I? Somebody comes out of nowhere and I, all of a sudden they're talking about all this stuff. I, what do you want from me? I know what I know and I, I don't know what I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Scooby -dooby -dooby -dooby. Yeah. Well, you know what? You know what's cool, though? The more people that attack you, that means you're actually doing something good. You're getting somewhere. That, that's what that means. If there's people attacking you, that means you're getting somewhere. Because you know what? Trolls are paid by, like, evil corporations to stop communication from between people. Well, okay, here we go. question was, if they drone random people often... Is this the same thing that people used to call demonic possession? Yes. Yes. The question is, all right, if they drone random people often, do they drone random people often? Uh, I've seen a couple of drones in my life here. Yes. Is it for the same thing as what people used to call demonic possession? Yes. If you look up the story about uh, Vlad the Impaler, he was a guy who was involved with drones, and, and he would have enemies... And then his enemies would end up working for him and being on his side because they were getting drone. And people would be like, oh, my God, he's a vampire. What did he do to these people? They hated him before. And now they're his best friend. What's going on? These people were getting droned. <clears throat> you know? Um, yes, because the personality will change. Um, if you, if a person gets, a, a, what do you call it, taken over by a, a, a drone, that's not a person anymore. That is a creature that was a crab. A crab-like creature on the ground with the mentality of kill and eat or be killed and be eaten. This is when you're going to have things like like Jeff, guys like Jeffrey Dahmer that have a bunch of half-dead eaten humans stuck underneath the house. You know what I mean? That's their mentality. Uh, they try to hide it and disguise it. But, yeah, it's, it's been caused, it's been called a demonic possession. Yes, absolutely. You know? And, you know, there's the, the one positive way to... To determine if it's a real drone is by uh, a CAT scan. But there's other ways. They don't understand dry humor. They have a reddish rash on the skin. Uh, they have that big wonky eyeball, like way big, and it sweats and it pulses and it's gross. It's fucking gross. Oh, that guy was gross. <sighs> and they've been here a long time. You know, it's not like, you know, the thing is, we got to start really accepting that this is true because people are like, 
What do you mean people are getting taken over by creatures? Like, that's not true. I don't want to believe. Yes, it's true. They've been trying to tell us for a long time now. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, if Don would show up, that'd be cool. What do we got, like 48 people in? Sheep, I personally think they're clones. Oh, what's this language? I don't even know that language. Scooby dooby doo doo. Yeah, so guys, you know, the thing is to do is, you know, not to panic, you know, but, but the information's got to get out. There's, it's really kind of scary to me because I'm, you know, I've actually been in a situation where this guy was right in front of me and I told you the story before, but I told him, I said, look, you're, a, I go, you're a, you're a crab creature from underground that took over this kid's body, aren't you? And, you know, he says to me, he says, hey, what are you going to do about it? Nobody's going to believe you. And I was like. It's really true. I was like, it's really fucking true. And his eye was bugging out like this. It was like, it was like his whole eye socket was like full of his eye. Like his eye socket, like you see how your eye sockets are normally, you know, your eyes like a little back in your eye socket. His eye socket was full and, I was, and it was leaking and he had sunglasses and he was hiding his glasses. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's real, my God. <sighs> It's bugging. It's really bugging. It's really fucking bugged out. The shit is real. Yeah, they call it the sheep jug. Oh, yeah, crabs are delicious, yeah. But you don't want them going in your eyeball. You know. And it's different. Crabs are not the same as brill. They, they're a similar type of species, but a, a brill is a... It has a, paras a biological... A uh, parasitic biological function where it can parasite another body. Is there anyone you know that is infected with a real? Yes. Yes, some of my friends, my ex-friends, are not friends anymore. Oh. Uh, was this a dream or real about the wonky eye guy I missed prior audio? I don't know. Don't know. <laughs> Troll. <laughs> this is one's for it. Yeah. The question is, is Aldo, is this a dream or real about the wonky eye guy? I missed prior audio. Oh, this is this is just about uh, this is just about what a Brill drone. You know, they're they're coming. They're 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 taking over the human race. We got to stop them, or at least become aware. And then, you know, find out and who's going to stop them. How are we going to stop this? First of all, it's got to be awareness. You can't go around killing these people because then you'll end up in jail. You know what I mean? And chip heads, clones, real. Okay, okay, okay. Uh -huh. More gallons. Yeah, yeah, I heard about Morgellons too. Morgellons is like that smart dust that they spray in the atmosphere. Supposedly it goes into you and it starts developing. There was an episode in Star Trek like that. Where they had this creature that would just take over your body. And I think, remember that thing stuck on Spock's back? And it injected this stuff into him and it just intertwined with his nervous system. And it was telling him what to do. <coughs> you know? Yeah, that's a creepy thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Oh, he says he'll be in shortly? Okay, hey guys, Donald's going to be in shortly. That'd, that'd be cool. Maybe Donald can answer some questions for you guys all. Donald, 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 Donald. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, all right, let's see. What can I do now while I'm sitting here? Um, what can we talk about else? Just ask questions or whatever. Uh, be cool, basic holic, yeah. Oh, basic holic, listen, you got to send me uh, send me another, um, send me an email to that, the voice crying in the wilderness at yahoo.com. I'm having a million notifications going to that YouTube account. 
So I go in there and I start looking and it's like, uh, I'm going through pages and pages and I couldn't find your name. So put cloning info in the title and put like a ladder, a bunch of X's on there so I can, it pops out at me. You know, and I have to, when I get a chance, I'm going to readjust the settings in my account so that I don't get so many millions of notifications. Because every time somebody like posts a video, like I have the uh, voice crying in the wilderness account, which is connected to my YouTube channel, which gets all the notifications every time I get like a, somebody drops a video or something. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Once infected, is there a chance that the original person can come back? No. No. Once that happens, the person is dead. From what I understand, what Donald said, the, the, the host is basically killed, and the, um, the host body's taking over and the host is running running the body from then on and that's that no the voice t-h-e it's not a voice crying in, it's the the account is the voice crying in the wood hey donald's here all right donnie the account uh, for uh basaholic the account is uh the voice crying in the wilderness at yahoo.com all one word donnie's here yo Guys, shoot the questions out there. What's up, Don? All right, man. Okay. Oh, I'm on a big screen TV. Wow, how about that? Look at that. All right, I'll step back a little so I won't scare you. How's the lighting? How's that? A little better? Oh, okay. Well, uh... Oh, yeah. This, somebody's asking, Don, do you know this, pers this Carly chick personally? And, uh, you know, maybe we should clear this up now because I, I said something about that she wasn't legit and you told me she wasn't legit. And, uh, you know, we can ignore this troll over here. Okay, Arya. Okay. But, uh, you know, we want to have the... We want to have the truth coming out, but we don't have a we don't want to have a bunch of phonies if they are phonies to make up phony stories because then once these phonies are discovered that they're phony, then the whole rest of us is going to be discredited. We can't have that. That's not a good thing. You know what I mean? Let me get some air conditioning here. I'm freezing over here. Holy shit! Boiling. Wait a minute. Hold on. Why the fuck? How do I control this shit? I'm like all of a sudden I just turned retarded. Oh, here we go. There it is. <sighs> Okay, let's see. Um, okay, remember, guys, I'm going to try to do this every Wednesday for one hour or a little more, maybe an hour and a half. Okay, guys? Now, the other thing about this, you guys got to realize that this is, I want to do this late at night, too. This is not nice for little children to listen to, you know, because people are getting tortured down there, nasty. Yeah, yeah, okay, we're getting raped, we're getting chopped to pieces, we're, we're, we're getting forced to kill each other you know what I mean this is not nice things to talk about and this is probably why we haven't been on edge of wonder yet you know what I mean because there's a lot of kids watching edge of wonder and uh you know I, I expect at some point you know we're gonna break through the uh the barriers so as it were like I was saying before like when does when does a fact become an established fact when there's enough information out there to, to establish that it is a, like yeah, like I was saying before JFK at the beginning everybody thought oh it was Lee Harvey Oswald now we know that's bullshit it's established fact now that you know there was something else going on pretty soon cloning Vril and chip heads whether it's 10 20 or 30 years from now or five years from now or two years from now it will be an established fact mainly because the information going out there is going to be building up you know, to the point where it's it's no longer a theory, it's a, it's a, what do you call, it's, a, it's no longer a possibility, it is actual an established fact. Yeah, I got a troll over here, and I'm going to burn your ass as soon as I get off of here. <laughs> Nothing better to do. I wish I had my little troll. Where's my troll puppy? Oh, I'm going to crush you bastard, you troll bastard. Could be, yeah, underground experiments. 
No, he didn't miss nothing. Oh, Don's here. Donald's in the chat. Basaholic. Yeah, that's, I, I don't know if you missed that. Yeah. I don't know how to do anything in this. Song boy, I don't know how to do it. Uh, how do I do this? Make a mod? What is this here? Share. The magic, has this a magic wand here. What does this do? Uh, it makes different colors. Yeah, I gotta set this thing up better because it's just a, it's just a, what do you call it? It's, um, what do you call this thing? Uh, an iPad. I don't have my main computer. Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll set that all up for the next one because I want to do this every Wednesday, you know, at least once an hour, hour a week, every Wednesday, bang, 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 every Wednesday like a hammer. You know what I mean? Whether I feel like it or not, I'm just going to force myself. How do I mod you? I don't know how to do that. Okay. Oh, oh, I see. I just click on your thing. And I, and I, all right, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I'll get it. Drop chat. Yeah. Uh, add moderator. Okay. All right, there you go. Now you're a moderator. Okay, you're in. How about that? I figured it all out by myself. How about that? Figure it out. I just did. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh... Testing. Yeah, it looks good. Do you know where the cloning center is? Uh, from what I understand, there's lots of them. Ah, uh, the power, yes. Crush and crush. Crush, this, what's this idiot over here? That's probably Alex with a sock puppet account. Aria corn lizard, ah, is the shape shifter, ah. Whatever the head, freaking idiot. Yeah, the thing is, for trolls, you don't want to feed the trolls, guys. Because if you feed the troll, you're just going to have to feed them more. Let them starve to death. Give them no attention at all. All right, we're here to focus on what we're focusing on. All right, what's going on underground? Cloning. People that are involved. We try to help the people that are involved, like, to, to sort it out for themselves, you know? Awesome. Thanks, man. Block and troll. Beautiful. And, um, you know, we want to get the word out there. And, and this, is, has to be, it's, this has to become an established fact. That's the main goal of what I want to do. It gets to become an established fact because, guys, look. They have taken our lives away from us, okay? They have basically fucked us, okay? And I, I don't know if you ever seen this movie. Check out a movie called Just Melvin, Just Evil. Melvin Just was a guy who was an abuse, abusive guy who used to abuse children in his family. And all those children that grew up abused, they ended up being drug addicts and alcoholics, all of them, except for one that was really intelligent and she actually had a, you know, a nice life and everything. Okay, Abby Blue, Abby Blue, okay, I'm going to modify Abby Blue. Oh, Baby Blue, right. Baby Blue, throw in a comment so this way I can give you a mod. Okay. Yeah, it's going fast. Yeah, I'm just going to hammer every Wednesday, once every Wednesday. Bang, 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 like a freaking hammer. Wednesday, bang. All right, okay. Uh -oh. And moderator, okay, Baby Blue's a moderator. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on, I'm not gonna start modding everybody now. I don't know everybody here, wait a minute. So if I'm just model Donald and Baby Blue, that's it. I don't wanna stop modding everybody. Okay, but uh, what the hell was I just talking about just now? I lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, I'd like to get this established. You know, it's really important that we establish this stuff that's going on down in the military bases as an established fact, because I feel that, you know, my life is stolen from me. You know, I could have had a real life, you know, if, if all that shit wasn't done to me. And all you guys out there too, Donald, and all you guys, all, all of us have been involved in this. They stole our lives from us, basically. Right out from under us. And not even a thank you. You know, they're making money off of us and, and doing all this kind of nasty shit. 
Okay, Donald says it's right here. Donald says, Carly Noel is a clown that's trying to bullshit. Okay, yeah, because you know what? Donald also says, I don't know Carly Noel. Right? So Donald does not know Carly Noel, and she's and he says that she's trying to bullshit. Because you know what else, too, guys? If if This is a unique story in that it is un, it's almost unprovable. It's almost unprovable. Like, you can't come out of there with any evidence. You know? And this Carly Noel, she's just making up a story. It looks like she read all the pro boards and got as much information as she could and just made up a story. Excuse me. Okay. Okay, let's see. Basically, she just, Basil Hawk says she just made another video about it today. And then Chili Toes says, what is she going to gain, Donald? And then Donald says, uh, Tilla's even more retarded than she used to be. Tu, tu, ah? God, t oh, Tila. Tila is even more retarded than she used to be. Okay, so Tila's not doing so well. Looks like University of Russia is right here. But guys, you know, this is this is uh, something that I want to start doing every every uh, every week. Any questions or try to help out with the people who are hurting with this stuff. Because you got to understand, you know, you might be having crazy dreams and they're going to want to try to make us all commit suicide. So there's no story. You know? Okay, here we go again. Here, see, uh, Baby Blue says, yes, Al, she talks about Donald Marshall and you like your old friends. Oh, we're talking about Carly now. And Baby Blue saying, yes, Al, she talks about you and talks about Donald Marshall and you like your old friends. Her cloning family, she called you guys. And then Donald says, Chili, I know, I know because of what Carly has said. You know, I don't know if you guys can see the chat. Can you guys see the chat? But, uh, yeah, apparently it's a bullshit scam and she's trying to fucking, you know, I mean, I, I look at it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clone family. Now, I look at it as, look. It's a bullshit scam. She's doing it either to just get attention or she's nuts or they're paying her. They're paying her to, 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 to split the following and get a bunch of people to follow her and believing that she's telling the truth so that she could be disproved and they could say, oh, the whole thing is a whole bunch of bullshit when it's really not. You know what I mean? That's what they're trying to do. To discredit the whole movement. This whole truth that's coming out. Yeah, I don't watch her video. Don says, I haven't watched her bullshit new video. I don't mm -hmm. watch her videos either. I don't watch Pac Lives videos. I don't watch anybody. I don't watch anything. You know, I don't want to bother with all the drama. You know, why do I want to, you know, why do I want to mess with drama? Yeah, fuck Britney Spears too. I mean, is she cute? I don't like to fuck her now. No, not really, actually, because I'm skanky. But, uh, yeah. No, it's all about just getting the word out there, guys, you know? Getting the word out, and it's really tough for the people who have not really understood what's happening, you know? You know, it's not an easy thing to deal with. You know what I mean? How do you freaking con how do you how do you come to terms with the fact that like the craziest thoughts in your mind are actually true? You mean oh, and then the other fact is like, well, okay, wow, you mean I've been used by a top secret government underground military base to what? Oh, did they put me on secret missions? Did they send me to like you know strange lands to do weird assassinate? No, they used you to fuck you in the ass. They used you to chop it to pieces. You mean they had all this great technology and they just used it to fuck people in the ass? I mean, that's all you can figure out to do with all this great technology was to torture people? Uh, uh, who the fuck is running this show? They're a bunch of idiots. You, you, you feel what I'm saying? This, the, the, the technology that they have is beyond what most of us can even conceive, right? And they're using it to fuck people in the ass. What the hell's up with that? Okay, all the streams. I'm going to hammer every Wednesday. Bang, every Wednesday. Bang. Because I got a life. You know, I'm trying to work on my life and do my own. That's the other thing I advise for you guys out there. 
Work on your life. Don't get too much wrapped up in the cloning. What might be, I might be a cloning, something might happen. If you got any strange thoughts and strange ideas in your head while you're sleeping, write them down in the book. Write them down in chronological order and put the date there. So this way, after a few months of that, you can see a pattern developing and you can determine more closely whether or not you were involved or not, okay? Write it all down and concentrate on your real life. Be thankful for what you got, okay? And don't be scared. You're not alone, all right? Remember that. Oh, let's all I'll tell is is not a cloning. Now this is Donald saying this, guys. This is what Donald. This is the word of Donald. All I'll tell is isn't a cloning. He's lying. He's called a piggybacked. Okay, he's a piggyback. Exactly the story. Yeah, he piggybacks onto the story. Okay. Although I don't think Aug is a bad guy. I just think he's a little, you know, loopy out there. Oh, okay, cool. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even pay attention to Alex anymore because, you know, I mean, he backstabbed me and everything, so I don't want to bother. Don't want to talk about it. Really, I, I'm, I'm sorry I even said anything right now about him. Who is he? You know what I mean? Um, but, yeah, the thing is to the guys, spread the word out there. And those, those out there who are, like, hurting and stuff, you got to understand that you're not alone. Write everything down that you possibly can remember. Keep thankful for what you do have. <coughs> do the best you can, and it, it gets better. Put it to that way. It does get better. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll be I'll be good and panicky and nervous next week. I'll be like, oh. <laughs> you know. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm I'm just a little out of whack today. I was even thinking of not doing it today, but I I promise myself every Wednesday. All right, yeah, every Wednesday, kind of like later in the night because you don't want kids to hear all the stuff, you know, and uh, usually for about an hour. We're going over an hour now. We're going about 66 minutes. Usually I like to do about one hour, uh, you know, but if it starts filling up really big, uh, we're going to do it probably more than an hour, guys. Uh, okay, and uh, so it's been about an hour. I want to thank you guys all for participating. I want to thank Donald for showing up. Don, uh, thank you so much for everything you did, man, to get this information out there. I know it was a fucking haul. I know it was a haul, and people are not digesting it fast enough. But I'm doing my best. Hey, listen! Wake up! All right? <laughs> Everybody out there, wake up! This shit is real. Now, you might have noticed that I list all my videos as comedy. There's a reason for that. Because, well... People laugh at me when I'm serious. See how serious I am now? See what I mean? Anyhow. Plus, they won't flag me, you know what I mean? And, uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, don't work for a living. Hurts your back. Yeah, that's the other thing with flat earth. Listen, let me tell you something. When I was a kid, when you said flat earth, that was an insult. Okay? Like if somebody would come up to you and say some bunch of stupid shit, right? You'd say, oh yeah, and the earth is flat. You know? So as soon as Bob O'B came out with that whole thing, oh, cloning is real and the earth is flat, I was right away, I was like... Oh, I can't believe he fucking said that. Cloning is real and the earth is flat. Right away, half the population realized that it was a joke. Or it sounded like a joke. You know what I mean? Because he said, oh, the earth is... Because as soon as you say the earth is flat, that means that everything else you said before that is bullshit and wrong. That's why that shit sucks. Now, whether the earth is flat or not, I don't even give a shit. Yeah, yeah, see, right? Donald says the same thing. I don't care if the earth is flat or not. I don't care, right? What's the important part is what's going on right underneath the surface of the thing we're living on, whether it's round or flat, underneath the surface, what's going on right down there? You know what I mean? It doesn't matter what's going on way out. There. Yeah, all right, we'll figure it out later. You know what I mean? If it's if it's flat or round, we'll figure it out of that later. Right now, we're getting eaten by lizards. They're drinking our blood underground. 
That's a little more important than finding out what's wood, if it's flat or round. You know what I mean? And that's another thing. That's It's a psyops to throw the whole truth movement off. Because as soon as people hear that you're saying that the earth is flat, people instantly think you're a moron. You know what I mean? It's it's just... it's. Let's focus on the problem at hand, not some random shit in way outer space that we have no way to prove or disprove. You feel me? You can't prove it's flat around. You got a spaceship? Can you go up and look? No. So you can argue about it all day and all night flat around and you're never going to get nowhere. It's designed to troll you. The flat earth movement is a big troll. What a troll does is it distracts, uh, discredits, and uh, redirects. Same thing all the time. It distracts you, redirects you to another subject that is going to take you nowhere. Right? What we're going to focus on is the virile, the cloning, and the chip heads. Very important because they are the ones that we got to get out of here, out of this world, that are running shit that's uh, freaking screwing us. Okay? Not the earth if it's flat around. That's not screwing us. Who cares? <coughs> yes. Next week will be better. I'm going to see if I can find a spot, because I, I, I was going to do it at my place over there, and then uh, didn't have any Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi crapped out on me, so I had to just drive out in the car. I didn't have all my tools and everything, on my little uh, props and stuff. But we'll figure it out better next week. All right, it's been about 70 minutes, guys. Uh, again, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Donald, thank you for coming, my man. Everybody else that showed up, thank you for participating. And uh, we want to continue to get the world. I want to hammer every Wednesday. Bang, bang, bang. Every Wednesday, it's hammer day, okay? Yeah, Trump is down with them. You see, Donald says it's all a show. It's all a show, folks. All the politics, it's just theater. You know, the old woman. Let me tell you something before I go. One last thing before I go. When my parents moved, first moved to this country, there was an old woman named Mrs. Kenny. Mrs. Kenny had a husband named Edward Kenny. Edward Kenny was going to expose a scandal involving the Campbell Soup Company that they were poisoning people. <coughs> Edward Kenny died on the way to the, pre to, the, to the press briefing. Edward Kenny. That was a righteous man. Dead. Campbell Soup Company murdered him. You know what Mrs. Kenny would say about the politics? She said, and I'll quote her, politics is theater. They're all crooks. Politics is theater. It's just like Hollywood. Politics is Hollywood for ugly people. Okay? Remember that, guys. It's all a big shit show. You know, you're on the blue team or the red team. You know what I mean? Oh, look at this. Yeah, he has to be done with them when he would die by a heart attack or an aneurysm. Yeah, especially the way that he's like totally supporting Israel. You know what I mean? Totally supporting Israel. Like, and Israel is just like fucking sucking money out of the United States forever. Like, it, like United States is Israel's puppet, and you got people in the United States government with dual citizenship with Israel. What the fuck is that? How do you get tools? How do you run this country, but you're loyal to another country? You know, that's the other thing we got to stop: dual citizenship in Congress. People, it's fucked up. Yes, yes. Donald has met Trump there lots of times, guys, you know. I remember he told he said that uh, he shot him in the stomach once, right, if I remember correctly. And he stole his idea for the munchie. It's like this little baby pacifier thing, and it's got a little net, and, and you put little pieces of fruit in there, and you stick it in the kid's mouth, and he sucks on the little fruit instead of, like, a sucker thing, you know. And he, Trump stole that idea from Donald. A more intellectual property, right? Another intellectual property that they stole. Yeah, no, it's it's a fucked up situation. They steal our intellectual property all the time. That's the thing, too, that kills me, you know? How many inventions did we make that they fucking stole from us? Right? Okay, guys. All right, I'm going to go and head the hell out of here. But this has been, what is it, been 73 minutes? Okay? I'm just, you know, I said to myself, guys, every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday. Okay? I'm going to hammer every Wednesday, guys. Now, uh, you guys think I should stay a little longer? 
I want to stay going a little more because I see the chat still still circulating, circulating here. Scooby Dooby Doo. Yeah, Pleiadians. Yeah, Donald has said that they're kind of a scam. The Pleiadians. You know, I don't know exactly. I've I've seen some of that Pleiadian stuff, and it's all like, be peaceful, be happy, be loving. Be nice and peaceful and happy and loving, and all peaceful and happy, lovely things will happen to you. Well, you're getting eaten by a fucking lizard. Just sit there and be docile, and you'll be eaten by a fucking lizard. Stay. All right, we'll stay for a little longer. All right. I'll stay till, till I got, cause I got, I got no bathroom over here. I got, I'm drinking this water. I'm gonna have to go in a little bit. I'll try to stay a little longer. Why not? We have any more questions, fellas, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, do I think light workers and empaths are fake? Uh, no. Yes and no. There are fake ones, but I mean, you can heal another person by the will of your, by your intention to help someone. You know, you can help someone else by good intention and, and good feeling. You know what I mean? And empathy, yeah, the empaths are real. You could really feel empathy. A human being can be empathic. Sure, of course. People can help each other. You know? Yeah. Yeah, it's a hell of a thing, guys, you know? Crazy world we live in these days, you know? Nothing is what it seems. Nothing is what it's, you gotta dig. You gotta dig deep. Dig deep and keep digging. Mm -mm. Norberto Santiago and Phil Chuba. Are the, Phil Chuba, are they okay? They both disappeared. Yeah, what happened to Norberto and Phil? Because I haven't heard, I haven't seen Phil lately. I think he was working. Wasn't he working? Like just a regular job in, uh, I think he was working HVAC or something. I really don't know. But Phil's Phil was cool. I remember seeing Phil's videos. Phil was one of the first uh, of the guys that I saw coming out talking about this. Phil and Lawrence were the first two people. Donald, Phil, and Lawrence. Yeah, you don't want to meet the lizard thing. I saw that lizard thing one time, and I was like, shitting in my pants. Phil's still around. Good, good, good. That's Phil still around. Yeah, that's cool. No, because you know what? We got to stay alive, guys. We got to stay alive. You know. Because this stuff can really depress you and make you confused and make you want to take yourself out. And you don't want to do that. Write down everything you can remember. Count your blessings. Take care of your health. Get enough plenty of good food and exercise and sleep. You know? <coughs> and uh, you know what I try? You know what I used to try to do? I used to think to myself, all right, well, how do I know I'm really here? Well, I have a certain scar. A certain scar on my body that I can recognize, right? So I'll say, I'll always look at the scar and I'll say, look, this scar means that this is my real body. So if I'm ever in a clone body at the cloning center, I'll use as a reference to look for that scar. If that scar is not there, that means I'm in a clone body. So if I know that I'm in a clone body, I'm going to be like, all right, I'm in a deep underground military base. Ah, fuck you guys. I know what you're doing. Fuck you, scumbags. You can't fool me. I know where I am. This ain't real. You're fucking with me. You know what I mean? And mess up some of their shit down there. So this way they won't think twice. The next time they won't bother you. I don't know if that'll work, but you know what I mean? There's all kinds of things you could do to try to help yourself through it. That's kind of what I was doing, you know, for a while back then. You know, just trying to help myself through it, you know, because I have scars on my body. You can tell what your original body is by the scars because they can't exactly duplicate all the scars. Staying alive, staying alive. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, tattoos, are tattoos cloned too, or are they irrelevant? No, well, no. Like, when you, if you make a clone of yourself, your tattoos won't be cloned with that clone. They'll have to re redo them in order to put them on there. Yes, look at your fingernails. That's another of your fingernails, yeah. I personally, I have a, I have a really nice scar on my pinky. See that right there? I always check that. I'm like, hey, because I know exactly how that feels. And I'm like, okay, this is my scar. I'm real. 
If I go to cloning center, I feel my pinky. <coughs> <coughs> Clone nails will be different, right? Exactly, guys. So if you're looking at your nails, put in your mind, just put it into your mind. If you're looking at your nails and you say your nails are different all of a sudden, hey, this is a clone body. Must be a cloning center. You know? Oh, man. But it's a hell of a... Th All right, hey, I'm going to talk about something I recently felt that might have been... I don't know, I don't know, but recently. Yes, we can win. Yes. It's just a matter of... It, just like the Kennedy assassination, you know? 30 years ago, it was... Nobody figured out that... Oh, yeah, he was shot by seven people and it was a whole cabal after him. It was just Harvey Oswald. This information will become established fact. The more we keep hammering on this shit, okay? Just like what's his name? Uh, what's that guy? Movie? Jim, Jim, whatever from um, the JFK movie, the, the lawyer. He kept hammering and hammering and hammering and hammering. Wrote a book, did this, did the next, but and now everybody knows JFK was fucking shot by not Harvey Oswald. You know what I mean? Just a matter of time before this becomes an established fact in the minds of uh, the public. You know, but uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, I had a recent experience. I guess I don't know if it was an experience or not, but you know what they try to do? They try to fuck with you in whatever is precious to you. They'll they'll fuck up. You know, like you you have a favorite person, they'll destroy him right in front of you or something. Uh, what happened to me recently? What happened to me recently was uh. I had a, a brief second, just a brief second of remembering a dream, and they, like, I had, in this house where we got, I built a wall, okay, and I was standing next to this wall, and the wall was caved in, and somebody was standing in there saying, oh, look, we busted that wall, and I was like, why don't you bust my fucking wall, you know, and that's all I remember. Yeah, it's going by fast. Well, people want to know. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of questions to be answered. You know, thank God, you know. Yes, it's going to be hard. It's going to, we're going to have to keep hammering because people are going to, first of all, the, the initial reaction of people is to not believe it because it's just so fantastic and it's something that they've never been exposed to. And most, we all know that, uh, yes, we will win in the end. Absolutely. You know, most people have not been exposed to this information. And the thing is, like, we, the technology that they've taught us about is it's more than 100 years behind what they already have. You know, if you want to just use a, a random number, it's really more like three, four hundred years, thousands of years behind what they already have. And they've kept us in the, bar, in the dark about this technology for so long. If we, if the public was really generally informed about all this technology, it would not be so hard to believe. You know what I mean? Because the technology does exist. The technology does exist. If you look in the patent office of the U.S. government, you'll see all kinds of crazy technology. I mean, the, uh, the what do you call it? The, the TV is even listed as a brainwashing device, you know? Uh, I forget exactly where it is. Google dot, um, dot, co that dot patent, the patent office. You can see things in the patent office that are just made to control people, you know? Cloning, there's, there's wave technology to knock your ass out while you're in a protest, you know, all this kind of stuff. All kinds of weird stuff going on, guys. Red and black. Yeah, Chilo came out and started talking about it. And, uh, you know what? I have a video of Tila, an old video of Tila on my computer that I should look up. That I had on my computer. This was before I even knew about cloning. I downloaded a video of hers and she was talking about crazy shit. And I was like, wait a minute, this is... I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna, you just reminded me. I'm gonna have to look up that video. Cool. Thanks. Yeah, them troll bastards. Don't feed the trolls. Don't feed the trolls. Yes. Break, guys. How about a music break? What do I got in here? Let me see. Oh, this is a Garage Band tune. But oh yeah, wait, oh hold on, this question's going on, wait a minute. I'm new at this, guys. <laughs> wait a minute, hold on. Let's see, Roberto got a question. Wait a minute, and good question, Roberto, what is it? 
I'm 15, my dreams are getting terrible. I've never talked in my sleep before, but my dreams are violent these days. Billy Brittle, little, yes. Um, yeah, it's possible you got, they got you over the colony center. You got to kind of write everything down that you're dealing with and see if it corroborates with everybody else's what's going on down there. If you find yourself in an arena, in an arena, if you find yourself being tortured, if you find yourself, like, say, stuck in a room with a bunch of people, uh, if you're doing uh, death combats, you know, forced to fight with someone else, that's that's classic cloning center stuff. You know, you're being attacked with chainsaws. Yeah. Yes, they're following this prophecy and they want it to all come true, Donald says, yeah. This is prophecy. They're trying to fulfill prophecy. Yeah, well, you know, they want to have... Ah, oh, back, okay. Yes, guys, where Donald said I told you all everything, go to the pro boards, all right? If you go to go to your search engine, I prefer DuckDuckGo, because Google sucks ass. Go to DuckDuckGo, type in Donald Marshall pro boards. Search, and you'll find the pro boards a website it has all the writings that Donald has written on his Facebook since 2012. That's all. Read that. If you want to know what's going on, read that. And he shoots these weird old aliens. Creepy and weird. It's just weird, weird story. It's a horror story. There it is. Yeah, donaldmarshall.proboards.com. Guys, go. That's where all the info is. Read up on that. Yes. Yes, yes. And bring your teddy bear with you because it's a scary, scary tale. Okay. Oh, my eyes are starting to get teared up. Oh, it's hard to read these little teeny words. Yeah. What happens when you get old? You know, you get cranky. Mm -hmm. I mowed the lawn, guys. I mowed the lawn, see? I mowed the lawn today. <sighs> yeah, I mowed the lawn. Donald says they want me to lie. Yeah, they want him to lie. Yeah, he's been saying it for a while now. They didn't want him to tell about the chip heads. You know, but uh, the information, all right, guys, you know, understand, what are we into? We're in uh, 88 minutes now. Understand now, guys, the chip. Going back. Got a punch. Got punched a bunch like a month ago. All right, he got beat up about a month ago. Well, I don't got my spectacles with me. I left them back at the house because I had a boogie out here. Mm. Excuse me. Oh, I was telling you guys about what I... Yes. What you from the other side is not anything intellectual or, or memory-wise. It's emotional. When I'm having an emotional feeling as a clone, that's the stuff I'll remember here in this body when it's something emotional i don't know if that means anything to you guys but like you know like when i was laughing that one time i was running out of that building and i was laughing i remember that part you know and when i was disappointed about that they knocked out my wall i was like Ooh! i remember that part you know what i mean anytime you're feeling an emotion that's what projects the memory through you know it seems like from over there you know, because I don't, I'm not on memory repressed. I'm a memory repressed. Okay. Okay, let's see. Kitty says, I remember the first time I saw Donald, I thought, yeah, okay, dude is weird. Then I saw Donald on adults and after watching Schneider before he was murdered. Yes, Kitty, Donald says. And then, uh, were you Jesus for a while? No, Chili. No, Donald was was disguised. I remember I saw him beat beat up, dressed up as Jesus. They were forcing him to 
dress as Jesus to, to fuck with people's heads, you know, and I was, I remember I was just like, oh my God, I, I saw, you know, that's why I'm so happy Donald's alive, because I saw him get beat to death, and every time I know he's alive, oh my God, he's alive, yeah, that's great, oh, you're alive, great, oh, this guy is alive, but also because that, that means that that whole thing that they did was a lie, that Jesus didn't get beat to death, and I'm like, oh wow, that's great, awesome, you know what I mean? You know? I mean, that's why I'm so happy. I mean, I mean, this dude, you just did me the biggest favor of my life. You know? You gave me my heart back. You know, you don't even know. Yeah, the Wi-Fi's a little slow out here. I gotta find a better spot. I'm in a different location. Undisclosed location. Yes, it was all to get me to, to not be into Jesus, to get away from believing, basically. And, you know, that's my own. I'm not trying to preach here. That's just my own personal religious beliefs. I'm not trying to get anybody else to. This is not about that. Yeah, Donald's a regular guy. Donald's, Donald's a human being just like any rest of us, you know. But they tried to pose him as Jesus. They're also threatening at some point to, 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 pre to pretend that he's the Antichrist. You know what I mean? They're threatening him with that, which he is also not the Antichrist. He's not Christ, and he's not the Antichrist. He's a human being just like the rest of us. Caught in a web of shit just like the rest of us. Yes, we got out. We're all going to be freaking screwed. Can you imagine? There's, there's a group. There's a group that supports these parasitic beings that are, that are parasiting people in the world. It's not good, guys. It ain't good, you know, and I try to throw a little comedy into it for a story. You in this shit? Yeah, you sure are. Damn, damn. Oh, yeah, Rudolph. Oh, yeah, Rudolph the Tall White Alien. Rudolph the Tall White Alien. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yes, I've seen Rudolph the Tall White Alien. Uh, I don't know what to make of him. Maybe he is an alien. I know he's definitely German. You know, he, he talks a lot of good, interesting stuff. You know, I find his channel to be very interesting at times, you know. Cool. Donald says, I'm on a couple of other album covers. What, co what, album, what other album covers you on? Because I know the, the Megadeth. I don't know you're on other ones. That's cool. Well, that's more proof. We should get that out there, too. Oh, hey, Blake. What's up? Blake just popped in. Spread the word. Oh, not as close up as the Megadeth one. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah. Uh, you know what I seen the other day? You know who's on it? You know who's on an album cover? Christopher Lee is on, an, on Wings, the Paul McCartney album cover. I never even knew that. Pearl Jam 10. Okay, look at Pearl Jam 10. Guys, Donald is on the album cover Pearl Jam 10 with his finger held up. I'm not sure which finger. <laughs> but he's on Pearl Jam 10. They held him up for that one, I think. See. Oh, you guys remember too that what's his name? Uh, What's his name? Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Now look at go look at a cop uh, at a picture. Look look at a picture, a copy of a statue of a guy named Vercingetorix. V e r c i n g e t o r i x. <clears throat> look at the picture of a statue of Vercingetorix and tell me if you don't see Kurt Cobain there. Seriously, go right now. Go check check Google. Check out a picture of Vercingetorix. V e r c i n G-E-T-O-R-I-X and tell me that that guy doesn't look like Kurt Cobain exactly yes yeah that's right Vicinia Torx Kurt Cobain was made from a sample of the DNA from a guy named Vicinia Torx who was the, was the king of the Gauls which was France back in them days so this guy had like natural leadership qualities. He was a king back then, right? They figured, well, this guy's a natural leader. Let's make him a band leader, right? And basically Don wrote all the stuff for, for Nirvana, 
you know, that guy didn't have the writing talent, you know, that, that they claim that he had. You know, he had the leadership qualities to, uh, that the king had, but he didn't write all them songs. Donald wrote them songs. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Can Donald tell us who is trannies in Hollywood? I don't know. Can you tell us who's trannies, Donald? Because I started, you know, the thing is, unknown who's the trannies. Yeah, I started looking into the tranny thing, guys, <coughs> and it's really confusing. And the one thing that I got that I gleaned from this guy, Tricks of the S-Trade, this guy's pretty serious about his tranny identification. And he said that there's a lot of ways to look at the face and the hands and the, the knees and all that. But the one way to know if it's a male or a female is by the hips and the and the, the if it can make a baby or not. Okay? <coughs> if the thing can make a baby, it's a female. If it can't make a baby, it's a male. And you can tell by the shape of the hips, the shape of the pelvis, you know? Because they can they could shave your brow ridge, they could shave your uh they can make your ears bigger or small, they can feminize or masculinize your voice. You know, your digit ratio, the, the male digit ratio is like this, the female digit ratio is like that, sort of like that, right? Uh, you know, the size of the feet, the length of the arms, you know, the, the, there's all different little markers to look at to tell if someone is a tranny. You know, I don't know if it makes a difference, but it does because like the satanics, they they re believe in reversing everything, so that's mostly the satanics that are going to be all tranified since they're children, you know, that have been switched around since they're kids. I don't know. Do we know anything about Nicole Kidman's story? I don't know. Oh, they fake pregnancies all the time. Yeah, with the baby bump, yeah. You're like, I, like, I mean, come on. You look at what's her name, the tennis player. What's that tennis player? Fernisa Williams. What's her name? I forget her name. You know who I'm talking about. I mean, you can tell that that's a dude. Come on. That's a dude. That's that's a woman. That's a man competing in women's sports, making sixty thousand dollars a game just for for beating a bunch of little skinny little a big tough guys beating a bunch of skinny women. And why? Because he cut off his schlong and he's got like uh, cornrows in his hair. Right? Okay, Don's going out for smoke. Yeah. I don't want to drag on too long, guys, but uh, another, another couple minutes. As soon as Don gets back, we'll probably, after he does his smoke, we're probably going to wrap it up because, uh, as you see, uh, well, I'm drinking. And I gotta, I'm going to have to empty it soon. Any more questions, just shoot them out. I saw this, this dude exposing the men that are allegedly breeders. What the fuck? Yeah, Sandra Bullock. That's another. Looks like a, a male to female. Putin is a woman. I don't know. I thought Putin was a clone of uh, Caesar. Look at a picture of Caesar. It looks just like Putin. Putin is a woman. I don't know about that. He looks like a clone of Caesar. Have you seen a picture of Caesar? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Venus Williams and uh, what's the other one? Serena, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I got to tell you, too, I saw I saw a, a transgender Vril drone when I was buying, when I was getting this car, as a matter of fact. And it was, the, it, was the deal, it was in the dealership, and the guy that was running the bank part, the guy that was signing, you know, the guy where you got to sign your life away, basically, the guy that runs the bank section of the... Uh, of the dealership, he basically just, I mean, I'm sitting there and I'm looking at this guy and I just, you know, I, I had learned this information about the Brill drones and and here's this guy sitting there and right away I'm looking at him, I'm like, okay, he's got a female digit ratio, like this finger is shorter than that finger, okay? And I was like, okay, he's got a real straight forehead that kind of goes straight up. You see how my forehead goes back a little bit here like this, it slopes? A female forehead goes straight up and then back. And I'm like looking at this guy and I'm like, oh my God, he's got a straight up foot and a little stubby. And it's a little, this is a woman I'm going. This is a woman I'm looking at. And then I look at this and then all of a sudden she looks up and the big eyeball. And I was like, ah, 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 ah. 
Like inside, I'm screaming my fucking head off, and I'm sitting there like. And inside, I'm going, ah! While I'm sitting there, looking at this vril infested transgender guy who was born a woman and is now a vril. And I'm, I'm freaking the frig out, just sitting there trying to not let that thing notice that I noticed it. You know, it freaks you out, man. And I don't know if they, like, come after us to try to stop us. You know what I mean? That's why I don't want to let them know that I know. So I just kept my mouth shut. And I was just like, oh, that's wacky. Oh. Yeah, Melania and Trump, yeah, they look kind of like transgenders. I'll have to say that. They do. They look it. You know, Trump's got the digit ratio, the female digit ratio. He's got the curve back. You know. Do I know for sure? I can't really say. Like I'm saying, guys, like transgender is still kind of like guesswork for me. I'd like to believe that there's good people in the government doing the right thing, but it all could be just another show. I really don't know for sure. But if you look and you study the transgender earmarks of what a transgender is and what to look for. Melania looks like a guy and Trump looks like a girl. I hate to tell you. And I hate to say that because, I mean, what's his name? Now remember, this is comedy. All I gotta do is do that. Now it's comedy, see? I didn't really mean anything. Comedy. That's why I put everything as comedy. Oh, he's a comedian. It doesn't really mean it. Okay. But, I mean, holy shit. How long has this shit been going on, this transgendering? You can even see on the, the interviews of these people that were on the Titanic. Okay? Donnie's back. You can even see in the interviews of some people that are on the Titanic that it's a guy dressed as a woman. Like, how long has this been going on? You know? This transgender and stuff. Anyway, like I said, I, I, can't, I can't nail it down 100% or not. Okay? Yes, you got to be a crotch watcher to find out. Like, what's that? Uh, I forget one of the one of the YouTube channels I watch. She's like, I'm a crotch watcher. She does the uh, the transgender and stuff. Okay. All right. I, I wanted to ask Donald the question. Donald, can I ask you a question? What else did they do to me? Like, I don't remember a whole lot. Have you seen me? Anything besides getting assembly line raped? Because I know I've been assembly line raped. Wow, great. Oh, you mean they didn't use me for secret special missions? No, they just fucked you in the ass. You mean I'm not a, like a cool CIA spy or something? No, they just fucked you in the ass. <laughs> you know, that's basically what you got all the technology in the world to do all kinds of amazing. Let's just fuck children in the ass. You know, what else did they do to me, man? Did you, have you ever seen me at any other time besides that time? My family's there? Holy shit, my sister is evil. I know my sister is evil, man. My sister really fucking screwed me. Yes, I was there as a kid. I remember uh, the, the, when I was a little kid. You know, that one time with the ladder. But I don't remember. You know what? I feel like weird. You know what's weird? When I see Bruce Lee movies, I think that guy is my friend. Like, was he there when I was a kid? Did I ever meet him? Because I got a weird feeling that I saw you there twice. He saw me there twice. All right, the one time I was getting assembly line raped, and there must have been another. What was I getting tortured? I don't know. Crazy. This is crazy. <sighs> but you know what, guys? It's like, it's like the more I know about it, the less I really want to know all the details. Bruce Lee training. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I'm not even gonna. Uh, I'm not even gonna talk about Bruce Lee being a tranny. I don't know. No, 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 no. I don't think so. <laughs> no, but uh, yes, it's possible for you to be there and, and has because Donald is one person. You guys understand what Donald just said? It's possible that you're there and he's never seen you because Donald is one person and there's what 800 military bases. You know, he's one person. He's in one base. And there's 800 military bases. So there's a lot of other shit going on, too. Understand, guys. It's not just one. It's a whole lot more than... 
And the other thing, too, is the information that Donald's got. They used to tell him everything and tell him, tell him, tell him, because they thought he was on his side. And then once he started coming out and talking, now all of a sudden they're not telling him anything. You know, they don't want him to tell, you know, right? Looks like, all right, Quentin Tarantino is there. Yeah, he's kind of weird, that guy. With all those murders and killings on, on his movies. That's bad. That guy's wacky. Music break. Okay. Okay, Garita Bonita is going to sleep. Good night, Garita Bonita. They did it because I, they thought I'd be killed anyway. Suburbs. There are some failed Vril takeovers. Oh, wow. I mean, it doesn't always work. Oh, wow. Some bit. Oh, so the Vril thing comes out and it just ends up dying and it doesn't go into the... Oh, they die. Okay. Oh, the celebs die, too. Oh, shit. So, I mean, it... Oh. Huh. They kill clones of some people in sword fights and spear fights. Yeah, I'm trying to get into reading the chat here, see what's going on. Yeah, any of stuff related. Oh, thanks, Baby Blue. Yeah, that's me and my buddy. He plays the drums, I play bass, we record that, and I throw a couple guitars on top. Something that prevents consciousness transfer. I don't know how they, how they, uh, how we could stop that yet. Scientologists are all involved in cloning. Uh, it's like the celebs were brought up at the cloning center to torture you. It's like that's how they were raised in a cloning center. Yeah, it's what it's based on. Based on the, the tech, all the uh, Scientology and their beliefs. Okay. You guys all see the chat? Okay. What are we talking about? I lost the strain of the conversation. I'm a little bit lost here. I'm keeping an eye on that chat on you. I feel like some people are real in this chat. Yeah. Don't worry, I watch my back all the time. I watch my back all the time, guys. I do not go anywhere unless there's an escape route. You know, that's that's the uh, Tom Cruise is a loony. He's a Scientologist, yes. Yes, Tom Cruise is a, a Scientologist. So he's in, into the cloning. Scientology. I'm just trying to read some of this stuff, guys, you know. And, uh. I should just call up Don and say, hey, Don, hey, what are you talking about? <laughs> Feel bad about it. What do you feel bad about? <coughs> um, 
Gorilla 199 video from last week on exposing Ab Abaddon. I'm going to check that out, okay. You know, I don't even know how to reread these chats. Like, once this chat is gone, how do you read it again? Because, like, when the video goes up on the page, like, how does it re, uh, how do you reread the chat? I gotta get a, I gotta get a desktop back again. Okay, yeah, we could do voice sometime. That's cool. Maybe next week I'll just have you on the speaker. You know, I'll be like, hey, what's up? Hey, here you go. Here's Don talking. Hey, you know what I mean? That could be cool. Well, listen, guys. All right. I want to wrap it up. Okay. If there's anything you guys want to, any last minute kind of questions, we've been on for an hour, an hour and 10 minutes. I kind of want to go and, and as soon as I move this car, it's going to screw up the signal. So, okay. Good night, Mel. Uh, be good. And, uh, just, you know, guys, any last minute things? Thanks. Thanks, Don. Glad you came in. All you guys who were here. Now, remember, I'm gonna, I promised myself every Wednesday at least an hour of live stream. So I'm going to hammer every Wednesday. Bang, 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 like a fucking hammer every Wednesday. Not sure what time yet. It'll eventually settle on a, an exact time. But I'm uh, right now, I'm just kind of uh, winging it with my situation, okay? Uh, so, guys, thanks for coming. Uh, next week, we'll probably see what we do, you know, as far as communicating. And uh, thank you. God bless you all, everyone. Yeah, that's what Tiny Tim said. Okay, so I said it again. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here because I'm going to go and then uh, enjoy myself now with some herbage and maybe some goofy movies and stuff. Okay, Wednesday. Every Wednesday. I just I promise myself every Wednesday, if, if at all humanly possible, at least one hour live every Wednesday. Late at night because I don't want no kids to listen to it because, you know, you don't even want to talk about mutilating kids when there's kids listening. Make sure all your kids are in bed when we're, when we're doing this. Thank you, Donald, for showing up and, and, and uh, participating in the chat. And everybody else that showed up and Baby Blue and all you guys. And uh, thank you for squashing them dumb trolls. And uh, I'm going to get out of here now and go and, uh, you know, do what I got to do as, uh, you know, human beings got to do. Uh, thank you very much. And... Uh, Let's see, how about 20? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Thank you. God bless you guys. Well, have a good one. I'm outie. Uh, all right, how does this go off now? I don't know how to shut it off. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. I notice. Oh, here it is. The X. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys. Next week, remember, every Wednesday, hammer. Like a hammer. Bang! Wednesday. Bang! Wednesday.